Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just got home and the snack I brought with me, I ended up bringing it back home. Let's put y'all over here. Oh, are we gonna turn the light on? So I'm saying that the snack that I brought with me today, which is a corned beef sandwich and bun and cheese, I ended up bringing it back home because I ended up going to the Dunkin' Dunkin' and seeing one of my friends who bought me a an iced vanilla latte, and I ended up going back to the office to see the educator who gave me macadamia nut cookies. So on another note, I got some packages from Amazon. I also <coughs> My doctor's office called me and said that I had an appointment. Went there today and the lady's telling me that the appointment is for another location. No, um, no. Can you reschedule it? I don't want to go to another location when I literally live right here. No. So I said reschedule it for Friday. Forgetting that Friday I'm going to be working the night shift. So I could have gone Friday morning. So I'm going to call her back to reschedule it for Friday morning. Because at 3.30 in the day, I do not want to be caught dead outside. Bro, I'm a literal, I have to be the dumbest person in life. And I don't normally talk down on myself. So at work we use, some, we use clipboards. So I decided to buy a clipboard. My dumb butt did not realize that clipboards were different sizes. So the clipboard is minuscule, so tiny. Can't use that. And then I bought some acetone because the other day when I was doing my nails, I didn't have any acetone. This was for like $2 and the clipboard was $5. And then some days ago, about a week ago at this point, I bought some hair color because I said that I was tired of seeing my hair in this color and I wanted to dye it, so that's over hair. God damn it. I've been dropping this since the day I got it. So this is the hair color. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. I was just about mad as hell. This is the exact hair dye that I use. The girl on the box looks very much natural. Her hair is natural because my hair is natural. So I bought three because you know, I'm all over the place. So at least we'll have those. The other day when we went to the barbecue, the other day when we went to the barbecue, I ended up winning. Fucking power bank is not gonna have no use by the time I'm done with it. The amount of time it dropped already. I won this power bank and what's crazy is I was gonna buy a power bank because my daughter is going to be going to high school, so I said that I want to get her a power bank because, and I just feel like she needs one so that her battery is never dead because, you know, high schoolers. So when I got that one for free, I'm like, this is great. But I don't know how I'm going to send that for customs to not charge me unless I mail it, which is going to take a month to get there. And we also won a hookah, which was also going to buy one, but it just never ended up happening. But for no reason at all. Oh, they give you coal in there. Or did the people put that in there? Maybe they put it in there. They give you some tips and everything too. We enjoy a hookah here and there when we go out for a good time. So that was a nice little gift. I'm gonna put that in the living room. Also gonna put the hair dye away. But yeah, um, that's really all. I gotta repurchase this goddamn clipboard. There's nothing I can use that for. The waste of my five dollars. So um, I'm gonna shower and really wind down because tomorrow I go in on the night shift, which is exciting. Today, um, the educator, when I met with her, she was like, oh my gosh, that person who you're gonna be working um, on the night shift with, because I'm gonna be working the night shift in the ICU tomorrow night, and then the following night is gonna be in the IMCU. And she was like, oh my gosh, that girl that is on the floor. I haven't really heard good things about her, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's terrible. But I've worked with the devil before, because at my last job, a girl was working there, and the girl just did not like me for for no reason at all. The girls hated me, and I worked with her here and there for two long years. So if I'm stuck on a floor with that girl for one night or two nights, it's it's okay. And that's what I told her too. And then um, you never know. Sometimes people have problems with one specific person, and then you work with the person, and you don't have the same issue, so it might be different. So. I'm not really sweating it. If it's horrible, it's just gonna be for one night, so whatever. But I'm um, yeah. Right now I'm gonna shower 
and um, settle into the rest of this apartment because I have kind of like a day off because I have all day tomorrow to be home. So that's nice. But um, yeah, that's all. Is today day seven? Today's day seven of the orientation and I'm gonna be off the weekend because I'm off the weekend for the three weeks of the orientation. So what's that for us? Hi y'all, a little bit later in the evening. I know that earlier I said that at 3.30 in the afternoon I would not want to be caught dead going outside, but I was caught dead going outside just now because I came and like I showered and everything and was relaxing watching some TV and then I felt hungry and then I thought, you know what, maybe I should buy some groceries on um, Amazon Prime. But then while I was searching that up, I, um, like I said, I was very hungry. So I'm like, oh, what is close by that I could just buy? And I went on Uber Eats to order some Chinese food from the Chinese shop that's literally right next to my doctor's office. Literally right out the block. And then I'm like, you know what? I saw that the, the, what I was going to get was already $11 and then... I just decided that I'm going to call them because knowing how Uber Eats work, the moment you put it in your cart and you're ready to hit checkout, it's going to go up to $20 for whatever reason. Hear me. I went out there with $22 just because I think they said, or I thought they said $11 or something. I went with $22. When I went out there, I seen a fresh batch of fried chicken wings. I haven't had anything fried in a long time. So I'm like, you know what, just throw some chicken wings in there, which was an additional $7. So I ended up spending about $20. I think it was $17 or something, which was the literal only $20 I had in my purse. And, um, yeah, so I bought shrimp, broccoli, and fried rice with the shrimp and broccoli. Oh my gosh, freaking shrimp and broccoli. So god, I love their sesame chicken too, but the shrimp and broccoli was amazing. And right now it is... It's 5.40 and I already had dinner and I'm chilling. I think tomorrow, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think tomorrow. Since I work the night shift tomorrow, I think I'm going to just go to sleep at maybe 4 o'clock. I'm going to go to sleep at 4 o'clock and then I'm going to wake up at 9 p.m. Because my friend said she's going to come pick me up at 9.30. Okay. Then we're going to be there mad early. I want to tell her to come at 9.45 because I do not want to be there. Do I want to be there an hour early? I don't even know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, she's going to come pick me up tomorrow. We're going to go to work together. So what I want to do is I want to go to sleep at four. So I'm going to be sleeping from four till whatever time. So I'm planning that I'm going to wake up like early in the morning, maybe not 5 a.m. Like I'm, I've been waking up these last couple of days to do the day shift. But I'm thinking more so around, I think 10 a.m. isn't bad. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Am I going to be able to go back to sleep six hours later? I don't really know. Obviously, there's still some kinks that I need to work out, but I think I'm going to end up going to sleep at 4 for sure, just so I can get enough sleep. Hopefully, nobody calls me or anything, but I'm going to have to work on that as time progresses. But um, I know for sure that when I come home and I go to sleep at 4, sometimes if I don't set an alarm, I will sleep, okay? The other day, I... I set an alarm and I woke up and I still felt like I was tired and so I just went back to sleep accidentally and woke up a little bit later. I couldn't go to sleep that night because I was up until about 4 a.m. So if I'm able to get some good sleep that could carry me over until 4 a.m. I could really push it another three hours, you know, find something to do when the people are sleeping. So that's the plan. I think this is where I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys for watching, of course. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video, maybe tomorrow. We'll just have to see. Maybe, probably, um, the, the, yeah, probably, well, not tomorrow, the day after to tell you guys how the night shift went and if it was brutal.